Shalom Aleichem, everybody. Hope all is well. The past few parshas, we've been speaking about the holy Avram Avinu, Abraham, our forefather, and his mission in this world. While Abraham had a lot of tremendous accomplishments throughout his life, very impressive acts that until today continue to inspire and arouse the people to connect to God. Just his, his actions, just learning about this man's actions it has a, a potent effect on the world at large. People draw tremendous inspiration and motivation from our holy forefather Abraham's actions. So Abraham, Avram Avinu, he had a specific mission in this world. There was a certain thing that that, that was his really what his mission. And that was to publicize Hashem's presence into the world, to publicize, to publicize the existence of Hashem. Avram Avinu discovered God. He discovered God throughout his conscious experience. Within his conscious experience, he found Hashem. Within his personal life, he made room for God. Not only made room for God, he allowed God to take hold and take over. Avram Avinu was born to an idol worshipper. He was born in an era filled with idol worship. And when Avram was very young, he was also swayed into this way of life when he was a very young child. And on his own, he discovered the Creator. How? He realized that people were worshipping the sun. He realized that the sun sets. The sun's not always present. The sun is hidden at times. The sun isn't always affecting the world, so to speak, clearly. And the moon also is not sometimes hidden. The stars are other times hidden. Avram realized that all of these intermediaries, these creations of God are being worshipped, but they're not the creator. They're just creations. They are under the control of, of a greater power. Then Avram was able to tap into the existence of Hashem, the one true God. The God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, <laughs> that we call him. So this is something beautiful that Avram discovered Hashem. But Avram did more than just discover Hashem. Avram publicized Hashem and acted upon his belief in Hashem. What does this mean? He publicized Hashem. Avram made a point to, 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 to talk about the existence of God to all the passerbys. Avram opened a hotel, an inn. Avram was a very wealthy man. Hashem blessed him with a lot of wealth. So what did he do? He opened an inn, a, a lodge, a, a lounging, a, a lodge, a place where people could, 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 could stay, where, people, where travelers could have a place to stay and eat and enjoy good comfort. And Avram was so kind, so precious, such a beautiful person, Avram Avinu, that what did he do? He didn't want to just give people a bed and food. He wanted to give them luxury. Avram Avinu wanted people to be comfortable. He cared about the person who he'd never met before who's crossing by the area. He was concerned that he and she and, and, and their children would be comfortable, would get to eat, would get to drink good, good drinks and sleep well in comfort. That is a true tzaddik, a person who's concerned for someone completely outside of himself. Not just the people that affect you, but even the people who don't affect you. That's a true tzaddik that we see in Avram Avinu. So Avram made a point to take care of people, to, to feed people, to have guests. That is, how he, that is how he took his belief in Hashem and brought it into the world. Because Hashem cares about how people feel. Hashem wants people to be comfortable. Hashem is concerned with the needs of each and every individual. So Avram reflected our beautiful creator by acting in such ways throughout with, with everyone around him. Of course, it, doesn't, it goes without saying that he was Avram Avinu's wife, Sarah Imenu, was a, a massive tzaddik, is an extremely righteous woman. And as a couple, they both had the same goal, to unify God throughout the world, to make sure that everyone's aware of the fact that there's nothing else besides God. So Avram Avinu, he was concerned to, 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 to take his belief in God and publicize it to the world. As we know, there, Avram wasn't the first person to believe in God. There were other people who believed in God. There were other people who who were very righteous people, very 
learned people that were that would learn the secrets of of, of, of Kabbalah in those days. But what Avram did that took it a step further, took it to the next level, is Avram was interested in publicizing God's presence. He was concerned that not just he knew about God, but that you know about God. And the Rebbe explains that Avram called out to God. What does it mean he called out to God? He caused others to call out to God. So that is why we have to always in our, in our personal lives, in our relationship with Hashem, we have to First of all, make sure we have a, we are feeding our belief in God. We could feed our belief in God by learning Torah with prayer, learning Hasidus, the secrets of Torah, giving charity, doing acts of kindness with others. Then we could work on our belief in God and just by meditating on Hashem's presence and, and thinking about the fact that Hashem is always present. There's nothing else besides Him. But then we also have to take it a step further and spread it forth. And make sure that you believe in God. The other believes in God. Because that is true belief in God. Is when your belief in God is so real. That it flows over into the fellow next to you. That they should also believe in God. And that is what Avram Avinu teaches us. And in this generation. We have a greater obligation to spread Hashem's presence. To the, fe- to, to, to the others. Why? Because it is clear that we are at the eve of redemption. The footsteps of redemption. We are about to enter the days of Mashiach. Maybe today. So therefore it is extremely urgent that we make as many people as possible aware of Hashem's presence. And aware of the coming of Mashiach. So, and, and what that entails. And the laws of the Torah. And the obligations that we have. That Hashem has put us in this world to fulfill. And this means that if you're a Jewish person, your mission is to do the to fulfill the Torah and mitzvahs, all the mitzvahs of the Torah, to follow the laws of Hashem and to learn the Torah and to live the Torah. And trust me, it's a healthier, happier life. There's no doubt about it. People who learn Torah and live Torah, they have that connection to God that 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 that, that guards you from all from all darkness. And if you're a righteous Gentile, your mission is the seven laws of Noah and all their details to spread it with the world. That of course righteous Gentiles have a necessary, needed, urgent mission in this world. Hashem has a plan for both the righteous Jews and the righteous Gentiles. And we have to bring everyone on board. In this generation it is very crucial that the world learns about the coming Mashiach and the seven laws of Noah for the righteous Gentiles as the Rebbe guided us and guides. The, the Lubavitch movement has this mission that is that the Rebbe told us about in when the, around 30 years ago. That in this generation... There are two steps needed. One, talk about the coming of Mashiach. Two, spread the right the laws of the righteous Gentiles. That's what the Rebbe said around 30 years ago. And we need to act upon this guidance, this, this command that the Rebbe gave us. And the Baal Shem Tov, when the Baal Shem, the Rebbe explains on that the era that where Hasidus came into the world, where the Baal Shem Tov started revealing to the world the secrets of Torah, the innermost secrets of Torah, the taste of the Torah Mashiach, a, little, a glimpse of the Torah Mashiach was revealed into the world, and that's Chassidus. And at that same very time, technology started to develop at, a, at rates we never thought were possible. So the Rebbe explains that these things are directly coincided, that the, that the secrets of Torah being revealed into the world and technology advancing are directly for each other's purpose. That means we have to use technology to spread Hashem's presence, to prepare the world for the coming Mashiach, the, the Messianic era. Please use every opportunity you can to publicize Hashem's presence into the world. And Hashem will notice your actions and will give success to your actions. We will merit the coming Mashiach immediately. Hashem needs each and every one of you. We are all Hashem's precious children. Each and every one of us is Hashem's only child. As uh, He loves us as if we were His only child. So may we feel it in our midas, in our actions, in our conscious experience. May we feel Hashem's love for us. May we give Hashem and feel our love for Him back. May today be the day. May Hashem bless you all.